video 5.4 hinge guide I got one circle at radius 1 so I got to double that make that 2 Another circle, same center, radius 0.5, so that'll be 1. And I'm just going to make this the center. Zero that out. Okay. I'm going to draw a line here. Make it four enter. I'm gonna come up, just draw that shape. Hit escape. I'm gonna dimension this 0.5. And now I have to center it. So I'm gonna choose one of these lines and the center. Make that 0.25 enter. Now I'm gonna trim. And I'm going to have to delete this and just redimension that from the center to the end. And I want to make that 4. Okay, now I have a small cut on this side also. So I'm just going to draw a line here. Get me another line anywhere and dimension that opening 0.25 and from the center to one of these lines is going to be 0.125 enter trim now I can trim the circle come over here trim this one and I have an, a completely enclosed loop which I can now extrude. And that extrusion is going to be 2. So change that to 2, hit enter. Okay, I also have radiuses here. And they are 0.3. So I'm just going to come up here and get a fillet and type in 0.3, enter. Choose that line. I'm going to spin it around with my cube. Choose that line and hit apply and cancel. Now, I'm going to look at this from the top. Put a sketch on it. I'm going to put these two quarter inch holes first. I'm going to come out here and pick a spot. 0.25, enter. And I'm going to dimension it from the center to this end is going to be 2.25 and from center to here is going to be 0.5 enter grab another circle use the same center line 0.25 enter and the distance between center to center is one inch one enter okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish sketch hit my home button extrude cut I'm gonna choose that hole and that hole and hit OK I'm gonna come back and put another sketch well actually let's do another way let's go to our hole command and I'm gonna try it this way we got a we have a countersink hole and it tells us that the small hole is a half inch diameter. So I'm going to type in 0.2, I'm sorry, 0.5. And the counter bore is one inch. And the depth is going to be 0.125. I'm going to come
come out here and choose this face. And it just drops this in anywhere. You have to choose one of these surfaces, this corner. And type in 1. Hit. Don't hit Enter yet. Come over and choose the other surface line there and type in 1. Hit Apply and Cancel. And it's done. You can do all of that with one simple hole command. And that's pretty much it. That uh, finishes Chapter 5, Exercise 4, Hinge Guide.